Genesis chapter 42. When Jacob learned that grain rations were for sale in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why do you keep looking at one another? He went on, I hear that grain is for sale in Egypt. Go down there and buy some for us. That way we may stay alive and not die. So ten of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt. But Jacob did not send Joseph's brother Benjamin with his brothers, for he thought one disaster might befall him. And so the sons of Israel were among those who came to buy grain, since they, what, there was a famine in the lands of Canaan. Joseph, as governor of the country, was the one who sold grain to all the people of the land. When Joseph's brothers came, they bowed down to him with their faces to the ground. He recognized them as soon as he saw them, but he con saw he concerned his own I concealed his own identity from them and spoke harshly to them. What do you come from? he asked them. They answered, From the land of Canaan to buy food. When Joseph realized his brothers, although they did not recognize him, he was reminded of the dream he had about them. He said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the weak points of the land. No, my lord, they replied. On the contrary, your servants have come to buy food. All of us are sons of the same man. We are honest men. Your servants have never been spies. But he answered them, Not so. It is the weak points of the land that you have come to see. We, your servants, they said, are twelve brothers, sons of a certain man in Canaan. But the youngest one is at present with our father, and the other one is no more. It is... Just as I said, Joseph pursued. Just as I said, Joseph pursued. You are spies. This is how you shall be tested. I swear by the life of Pharaoh that you shall not leave here unless your youngest brother comes here. So send one of your numbers to get your brother while the rest of you stay here under arrest. Thus will, this will your word be tested for the truth. If they are untrue as Pharaoh's life, you are spies. With that, he looked them up in the, locked them up in the guardhouse for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this, and you shall live. For I am a God-fearing man. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers be confined in this prison, while the rest of you go and take home grain for your starving family. But you must bring me your youngest brother. Your words will thus be ver verified, and you will not die. To this they agreed. To one another, however, they said, Truly we are being punished because of our brother. We saw the anguish of his heart when he pleaded with us, yet we would not listen. That is why this anguish has now come upon us. Then Reuben responded, Did I not tell you, do not worry wrong to the boy? But you would not listen. Now comes the reckoning for his blood. They did not know, of course, that Joseph understood what they said, since he spoke with them through an interpreter. But turning away from them, he wept. When he was able to speak to them again, he took Samuel from among them and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph gave orders to have their containers filled with grain, their money 
we placed in each one sack and providing provisions given them for their journey. After this has been done for them, they loaded their donkeys with the grain and departed. At the night encampment, when one of them opened his bag to give his donkey some founder, he saw his money there in the mouth of his bag. He cried out to his brothers, My money has been returned. Here it is in my bag. At that their hearts sank, troubling. They asked one another, What is what is this that God has done to us? When they got back to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them. The man who is lord of the land, they said, spoke to us harshly and put us in custody on the grounds that we were spies of the land. But we said to him, We are honest men. We have never been spies. We are twelve brothers, sons of the same father, but one is no more. The youngest one is now with our father in the land of Canaan. Then the man who is lord of the land said to us, This is how I will know if you are honest men. Leave one of your brothers with me, then take the grain for your starving family and go. When you bring me your youngest brother, and I know that you are not spies, but honest men, I will restore your brother to you, and you may move about freely in the land. When they were emptied their sacks, there in each one sack was his money bag. At the sight of their money bags, they and their father were afraid. Their father Jacob said to them, must you make me childless? Joseph's Joseph is no more. Simon is no more. And now you want would take Benjamin away? All these things have happened to me. Then Reuben told his father, You may kill my own two sons if I do not return with him to you. But put him in my care and I will bring him back to you. But Jacob replied, My son shall not go down with you, nor now that his brother is dead, he is the only one left. If one disaster should befall him on the journey you must make, you would send me while head down to soul in grief. End of chapter 42.